everybody I'm Adrienne and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a 12 by 12 scrapbook process video and I am using a page from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection and this paper is called Sweet Rose. This is part of a new collection. So I've chosen two photos, they are very similar um, but just slight changes. Oh, and this is my sister and my niece and my daughter and I thought that was very very sweet just seeing my sister just laugh and you know smile it was really cool to see just you know how much she just loves you know both of them so I thought this was a really sweet photo and just with the background and the colour of the photo the blue I thought it would go perfectly with this um, paper. Now I really love this paper and I really didn't want to take away from it. I wanted to keep as much of it in as I could. So what I decided to do is use another piece of this gold fabric um, which I've used in another layout. I've still got more left. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, it's very gorgeous. I got given it from a friend down at the market. Um, and I'm just using some double-sided tape to stick one side down where the seam is. And I've just used a, um, I don't even know what you call it, but I've measured it out at three centimetres apart and poked holes down one side. And then I'm taping it on the other side. And where I've put the holes in, I'm doing a back stitch. And I'm showing the whole process this time because I admitted it on my last video. So what I do is I go up through the first hole, I go at the back side and then come up through the first hole and then back um, around the paper and then when I go up again I go up through the second hole and then I just go back down through one hole. So I'll just leave this in there so you can see. Um, but it's it's fairly simple, just a hand stitch. And at the end, I actually didn't have enough, quite enough thread to get to the end. Um, but I thought, just because there was a tiny bit there, I could actually, and you can't see the thread too much. It's um, I could get away with just uh, gluing the top part of the fabric down which you'll see at the end and I just use some washi tape at the back just to hold it in place make sure it doesn't come out after I've knotted it and just cut off the excess Here you, can, here you see me just putting a little bit of the glue here just up the top and something down to weight it. Okay, so now what I'm going to start, I'm just thinking about how and what and why and what I want to put with everything. So I've decided to prop up one half of the photo on foam, which you saw me do. And I'm also using some stickers. So these are all um, from the September Kidaholic kits, actually. And the dear, I'm using Dear Lizzie gold foil stickers. So that's the big heart. They're all that size. And then what I've done with two of the hearts that were in the pack I've actually used a hole punch to cut out smaller hearts so they hit the same gold so I really love navy and gold or navy and rose gold so, I, so that's what I sort of had my basis of using gold and navy um, but I did want to bring in some other colour if I could so i am just gone through the pack and just sort of looking at other elements that I could put in. Um, so I found this grateful banner and I thought that that would go perfectly because of the navy but it when I popped it down it just didn't pop so that's why I've got the white board around it. 
and then when I was looking at the layer I thought that gold fabric actually looks really cool and would be cool if I could sort of make it look like a vine so you know like the mesh in a garden and just have like the flowers and stuff creeping up up it so that was my thoughts on where my placement was for my um my clusters and for my title it just had to be love because there's a whole lot of love in that photo so I've used the thickers that were in the Kiraholo kits and these are American craft um thickers and they're called cheerful so I wanted to bring in the lovely soft pink so these were perfect um to use as the title and then I'm using also some American craft um gold stickers which are in the cab and I'm just going to use them as like my journaling spot just going underneath the title just having a few words there that I think fit perfectly for this layer um and the words say kisses and hugs gorgeous today is the best so fun which I thought was quite fitting then I've just used a I think a, a very fine tip pen black pen just to go around and with a thin little border around the words just to make them pop off and stick out on that white cardstock and I've also with this tag I used some of the gold thread and just um, put it through the end of the tag there and scrunched it up cool so I've just used scotch tacky glue just to glue everything down down the vine and the adhesive foam I won't make you watch me glue all of them now I did find the Dear Lizzie sticker is quite thin and flimsy and quite hard to stick down so I marked up a couple so I marked up the one in between the two of the um, photos but when I looked at it um, I actually decided to use a blue heart um, piece of ephemera that was in the kit and cover that up but I thought it looked better anyway so that was a happy accident and I also marked up the big heart but that was going to be covered up by the photo anyway so that was quite lucky and so up the vine we'll call it the um, sequence vine I'm going to put all my flowers and I'm just using ephemera from Maggie Himes collection now uh, called and it's a flourish one not the willow lane so that's pretty much it for this layer thank you guys so much for stopping by hope you got some inspiration for your next project and i will see you next time bye